You know, art's about communication. It's just that the world is an absurd place. What I'm doing, it seems normal to me. Maybe I have this strange mind. How to communicate. My father barely can speak English. Having to make things clear to him and communicating, I consider a word and an image of equal value. For instance, the word house and an image of a house, to me, they're equal and they can be interchanged. And then I said, well, why can't language be art? Just text on that canvas. Those early text pieces were appropriated text. I used to collect books on how to do art and they always amused me. If you did this and this and this, you'd get art. And I've always worked in hybrid forms. That mixes, you know, language, photography, painting, you know, sculpture, whatever. My job is to treat the viewer as an intelligent person. If you serve it to them on a silver platter, they haven't really learned anything. But of course, it's got to be a seductive thing. You've got to engage them first. One word following another, like a writer. It can be a flabby sentence because the words are flabby. They don't have, they don't really relate that well. But if you get this the right tension, bingo. I just think I see the world slightly askew. And I really believe in eliminating information, working against people's priority of vision. So when you look at a person, you're normally going to look at their face. You're not going to be able to do that. Well, at first it was just white or black. And then I maybe got bored. So I said, okay, I can make narratives. Red can make a person be dangerous. Green can make a person seem safe. One of the best compliments I ever got was, John, what I like about your work is what you leave out. 